At sea, for Pablo Neruda, the sea through the trees, distant, shining, the dark foreground, a stone wall with lichen, an old salt sits staring out at the sea, a wind sways the palms infrequently, another day prepares for heat and silence, a small plane buzzing like a fly dis disturbs the sky. The air eats it far out on the slumbering sea. A trawler creeps along. The wind from the south blows the bait in the fish's mouth. The yawning sea, the yawning sea swallows the trawler. The lichen lives on in its volcanic stone taciturn, eternal, awaiting its turn in the turn of the sun. Never will I return here, never again breathe this wind on this far run. In the, re in the reaches of morning, where the sea whispers patience and salt, the sun scorches the sky and drops like a burnt out match into night, and I am an animal still, perhaps once a bird, a halcyon who makes its nest at sea. On my little flight across the little chart of my existence, life goes on, full of silence and clamor. In the gray cities, in the far birds, in the white cities by the sea, I go on writing my life in neither blood nor wine. I still await an empathy. I still await an epiphany by the Petri dish. I still await an epiphany by the Petri dish of the sea where all life began by swimming. <laughs>